This right here is Intel's worst nightmare. It's the new ZenBook A14 from our partner Asus that we've been using for about a month now. And based on how great this new laptop is, I'm starting to get a bit worried for Intel because while their Lunar Lake chip is impressive, the brand new Snapdragon X chip inside of this super lightweight laptop is actually faster in terms of multi-core performance. And not only that, it gets better battery life and at $900 to $1,100, depending on the configuration, is less expensive than many Lunar Lake laptops. So before I dig into the performance benchmarks of the brand new Snapdragon X chip that I'm now finally allowed to talk about and show you guys, as well as discussing how Intel's Lunar Lake was actually a one-off product that won't happen again, according to Intel themselves, saying that on-chip memory is too expensive for them to do it again while Qualcomm is over here bringing their chips to the masses with affordable laptops like this, I've got to first get into the design of this awesome laptop. First of all, it is very nice and thin, but the biggest thing is that it's super lightweight. It's less than one kilogram or basically 2.18 pounds compared to 2.7 pounds on the 13 inch MacBook Air, which is actually quite shocking, super lightweight. And this actually does get a larger 14 inch display. And it's just insane how lightweight this thing is, giving you ultimate portability to take anywhere you want to go. Now, one of my favorite things is the Sayre aluminum finish, which feels amazing. It's fingerprint resistance all over the top, the bottom, and on the inside over the whole keyboard section, and I honestly really like it. It's somehow 30% lighter than aluminum while apparently being three times stronger according to Asus, and it actually feels really nice. Now in terms of the keyboard, it feels great. Maybe not quite as good as you can get on a MacBook, but compared to other Windows laptops, it's actually really quite nice. And one thing I really like is the super bright backlighting, which is one of my favorite things. And the trackpad itself is very nice, large, easy to swipe, and it has some gestures on the side. You can see right here the uh, brightness on this side. You also have a volume and you can control media controls right here. Now in terms of the ports, it has just the right amount. It has a 10 gigabit per second USB-A port for legacy devices. And on the other side, it has a full size HDMI, which is really nice on top of a headphone jack and two USB-C ports with 40 gigabit per second Thunderbolt 3 support, which is great. It also comes with great specs, including 32 gigs of very fast RAM and one terabyte of SSD storage, which you can actually upgrade to an even bigger SSD by taking the bottom off and simply upgrading it with a new M.2. And of course, one of my favorite things about it is the 14 inch display, which does have OLED technology. So it looks amazing with 100% DCI-P3 colors and 1200p resolution, which is I think just about good enough for a 14 inch display, seeing as it helps with battery life, which I'll get into after the performance benchmarks. Now this one right here is in the Iceland gray finish, but they also have a sort of beige color that they offer, which also also looks really nice. So in terms of the overall design and feature set for the price, this is an awesome value, especially if you consider the super lightweightness and the thin design with great build quality. And now let's get into performance. And the awesome thing about the ZenBook A14 is that you have the option of either choosing the new Snapdragon X chip if you care more about battery life, or you can get a higher end X chip option if you're more of a power user. But for this video, we're focusing on the new X chip since it's brand new and it knocks the socks off of other laptops in terms of the battery. Now for this chip, instead of being a 12, 
12 core like the X Elite or 10 core like the higher end X Plus, the new X chip has an eight core CPU, sort of like the lower end X Plus chip, except that it's limited to 3.0 gigahertz clock speed, which is definitely nowhere near as fast as the X Elite at 4.2 gigahertz boost. But this does focus on battery life and surprisingly, it actually surpasses the performance of the 256V Lunar Lake chip in terms of multi-core performance in Geekbench 6. Now, single core isn't quite as good scoring around 2100 points compared to 2700 on Lunar Lake, which translates to a bit worse performance in some real world tasks that rely on single core performance like Figma web design, but it's not that far off. But then I tested Cinebench 2024's 10 minute stress test and wow, the Snapdragon X absolutely killed it here, being 39% faster than the Lunar Lake 256V, which I believe we tested in one of the new Dell XPS laptops. The only downside is the GPU on this thing, which simply cannot compete with the Lunar Lake chip, seeing as it only averaged about 8.55 FPS in 3D Mark Steel Nomad Lite, compared to 19.4 on the 256V Lunar Lake chip. So this specific new X chip is more for users who don't do any gaming on their super thin and portable laptop. But in terms of CPU performance, this chip still holds up incredibly well, even though it's meant to be tuned down to focus on battery life, which is the best part. Being able to get up to 32 hours of battery life from its 70 watt hour battery, which is just unheard of, especially for a laptop this thin and light, outclassing every other Snapdragon X laptop we've seen, and beating the claimed battery life of pretty much every Lunar Lake laptop out there. And with all of that, one of the coolest things is that you still get the same 45 tops NPU as you get in the X Elite within the new X chip. So you still get the best AI performance. And the cool thing is that Qualcomm recently announced that you can run the new DeepSeek R1 Distilled on these X chips using the NPU, which is just awesome. And of course, with that NPU, you also get all of the new Copilot Plus features. So let's run through some of them right now. First up, we of course have Windows Recall, which got a lot of flack earlier, but now you can actually opt in, so it's not gonna be automatic. And they did update it with a lot of security features. For example, it's now using the Windows Hello which is great to sign in, so it has to verify. But here you can see that it's gonna be saving snapshots. You can set all your different settings for maximum storage and all of this other stuff, filter out sensitive info, websites to filter. Here you can see my very first snapshot. I was uh, typing something to search, but the cool thing is you can actually kind of like click on stuff and uh, there's this new feature called basically click to do. You can see you can kind of hide click to do, but when you turn it on, there's certain things you can kind of basically search up. Like you could search the web. That's pretty cool. You could even click on images like this and open with a certain thing like paint. That is pretty cool. So I zoomed in on this low quality image and I could actually click on the co-pilot button and let's do a generative erase. Let's see how this works. I'm gonna try to erase this little cup of coffee. Apply. Okay, that's a little strange. Looks like it kind of tried to get rid of it, but it seemingly didn't. Maybe I need to go more like this and just select all of this. Okay, hey, I mean, it got rid of some of those coffee beans. Let's do remove background. Oh, look at that. I mean, this isn't the best use case for that, but hey, it kind of got rid of the background. Let's try out Image Creator. They've also got Co-Creator, Image Creator. I mean, let's check this out. Cup of coffee. Oh, look at that. Looks like we're using the NPU with these new Copilot features to make stuff like this. It's really cool. Generative fill. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, cups of tea. Oh, look at that. So it's basically creating generative 
AI images right here on the fly. And now let's remove the background. Look at that, that is actually quite useful. And the cool thing is that they also have AI super resolution. So let's just see what we can do, see how good this AI can kind of upscale these uh, cups of tea. Holy moly, look at that. It might be hard for you guys to tell, but like look at all this aliasing around the edges and now that is just smoothing everything out. I actually found this photo of myself from years ago when we got 100,000 subscribers and we got this plaque. So let me try super resolution upscaling on this photo, which is a little bit more realistic. And just like that, we've just upscaled this image from basically 1080p to 8K. And on top of that, Microsoft 365 Personal now includes Copilot in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, and Outlook with improved performance. But now getting back to the ZenBook A14 itself, this is one of the best value laptops that I've ever seen, considering the super lightweight design, excellent display, and incredible battery life for an amazing price. So if you want more info, you can use the link in the description below to order one for yourself. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.